Hey everyone, um, I wanted to give you a little bit of a heads up on kind of how this video is going to flow and give you a heads up that this is not a how-to video. There is nothing that I can tell you that is not in the Toro Greens Master 1000 service manual. It's all there. It tells you how to remove and how to install all of these pieces, step-by-step -step instructions on the bearings, all of that stuff. It's all in there. I will put a video from Real Low Dad in the description because he did a pretty good job showing you how to pack bearings and how to install that sort of stuff. Um, the one little heads up is that the bearing housings on the 1000 look a little bit different from that video, but just like in his video, one side gets the wave ring, wave washer, and one side gets the lock ring, but the other side does not. So there, there's some, it's all in the service manual, like I said. Um, so this is just kind of a video of me putting it together. I also wanted to give you a heads up. But how I'm going to do this is I do not like clickbait thumbnails. I know that that thumbnail is a little bit misleading. At least that's what I'm having in my head right now is kind of a clickbaity sort of thumbnail. And I'll probably change that. The, the justification for doing that kind of a thumbnail is because I know that there have been at least a handful of people have been anticipating this video and seeing what color I chose for the mower. Um, and I just thought that if I showed that in the thumbnail, that kind of ruins it. Kind of like telling somebody the end of a sports game that they have recorded. Something like that. So that's my justification for the clickbaity thumbnail. I'll probably change it after a week or two to something that's not so clickbaity so that people who are coming to the video, anyway, don't think that that's my kind of thing. Whatever. So I think what I'm going to do is show the part of the video where I'm priming the mower um, and not show the paint. Then I'm just going to show you some like B-roll type stuff of the reveal of the paint color in the middle of the video somewhere and then show you the rest of the painting and the assembly of the mower. So if you care to watch any of that, here we go. All right, the time has finally come. Got my mower, it's been sitting here for, I regret to say, months now. Got some sandpaper, got my mower parts, got some new bearings, all these parts from r and They also sent me a uh, two and a half inch PVC cap. If anybody needs that, they told me they didn't want it back. So uh, let me know if you need that, but I don't. And then, uh, seals and all kinds of fun stuff. So we're finally ready to complete this Greensmaster 1000 restoration. Uh, I guess let's get to it. I'm ready to start this thing. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Wow. Well, first of all, welcome to my little closet slash office here. And second of all, let me explain something about this part of the video. So the black stuff that I'm spraying is not the color of the mower. That is rust reformer slash primer. I don't know anything about painting. I probably don't have to say that. You're going to figure that out here pretty soon. But just let me tell you, I should have used white rust reformer slash primer. I started trying to paint over the black, and that didn't work for the color that I picked for the mower. And I asked some people that knew way more about it than I do, and they told me, yeah, that was really dumb. You're an idiot. And idiots are dumb. And what I should have done was used white primer. So what I did was I went over everything with white primer. I don't hate the way that that turned out because the rust reformer is going to be good. It's going to help to prevent rust on my new mower. But I probably should have just gone for white rust reformer slash primer and it would have been one less step. So anyway, I went over with white primer and I think you'll see that when I'm 
showing the painting parts of the video after the reveal, but let's just get on to the reveal of the mower. There she is. I finished painting the mower and putting it all back together. I do have one more little thing I've got to adjust. The reel isn't matching up with the bed knife perfectly and so I'm still kind of working on that before I get to mow with it, but it is done other than, like I said, some little fine tuning and tweaking. I'm happy to be done with that project. It was taking me, it took me way too long. I started this, I think in like December. I don't know, it took me all winter. And anyway, finally had time at home where I couldn't work and got it done. So. Here we are and I'm excited. This is gonna be fun. Now I guess we'll get on to the uh, painting and assembly montage, go! One last little secret about this mower that I'm gonna keep a secret until it's uh, up and running, so uh, stay tuned. 